It's interesting when uh, Job asks over and over again, why, what's going on, questioning it. Um, and God answers, God never explains why. As far as we know, God doesn't tell him about the devil tempting, doesn't tell him about the challenge and so on in the first chapters of Job. In fact, God says, look at the hippopotamus, which seems kind of strange. Um, except what God is saying, he's saying, you don't know. You don't know. Um, our atheist friends tend to do evil as suffering. And they say, they then also say pointless suffering because they realize some suffering is not pointless, can be for a good purpose. Um, you know, I'm suffering here under these camera lights. So that's, but that's for a good purpose, so it's not pointless. Uh, I think that we then say, well, who would be the best person to work out whether any suffering was pointless? And who would be the best person to make sure that all things work together for good? Only an omniscient, omnipotent God, the God of the Bible. And hence, Job is told, look at who I am. And that the, the key thing in Christianity is not so much the question of why, and I think the why is because in order for human beings to freely love God, they have to be able to choose and certainly in the beginning with Adam and Eve, human beings have been tainted since then so that we're, by original sin, we will choose evil all the time. But in order to have that free uh, opportunity, then we have to be able to go with the absence. St. Augustine's the most helpful for me because Augustine said evil was not a created thing. God didn't create good and God didn't create evil. God created, and he created good, and evil is just the absence of good and all the consequences that come from that. But for me, the bigger question by far is, what has God done about it? And the answer to that is very, very simple. The Christian answer to evil is the cross. There is nothing more ugly than the cross, and there's nothing more beautiful than the cross. And um, I want to go to the woman whose son has been killed in a war, to the man whose wife has died of cancer, to the child who has suffered horrendous abuse, to those who face the poverty and economic injustices in this world, and I want to be able to say, these things are evil, God knows they are evil, and God has provided for a means for evil to be dealt with. Ultimately, it will be dealt with on Judgment Day, but uh, God has provided the means for the evil in my life and in your life, to be dealt with, and that's through the cross. Um, on the cross, Christ defeated the powers of darkness and the forces of evil. And um, that's it. Uh, for me, Jesus and his work on the cross is the answer to evil.